Hello everybody, I'm Ospa again and today we are going to build a UI from nothing to what I currently have. Uh, the add-ons I'm using to do this is Bartender, Shadowed Unit Frames, Click, Mixed Scrolling Bar Text, uh, DBM and Exorcist Rate Totals. It's going to be quite a long video but in the end um, we will have a full UI. So first of all, uh, this what I have at the moment is the default settings. <coughs> I have enabled bartender and shadowed unit frames. Uh, we're going to over click and um, DBM and exorcist later on. So uh, this is what we're going to start with. First of all, we start with uh, unit frames. Shadowed unit frames. What you do is you type slash s u f and we open up the video. We will unlock the frames and this is where we start from. First we're just gonna drag something down here. We got the party frames here, I got the player frame, target, target of target, target of target of target and so on. Uh, first of all we are going to go to enabled units. Just get the boss frames out of here. What I want to see is player frame, I want to see pet frame, uh, pet target not a little target I want, target of target I want these I do not want. Then I got focus target, target focus and focus target. Excuse me. I do not use the shadow unit frames, party frames either. Uh, I don't use the raid frames. I do use the boss frames. So that's what we have here. So what we're left with now is uh, the player frame, the pet frame, target. Uh, target of target, focus, and focus target, and the boss frames, of course. Uh, we're going to global. Uh, we want this. What we are doing now, we want it to use the player and the target, so it's easier to do both of them at the same time. We're gonna take the pet target of target, focus, and focus target away from here. Actually, we can do the focus even at the same time. So first of all, we're going to go to bars. Power bar, do we want mana and such things? Yes, alternative power bar. If uh, there's like holy paladins uh, or paladins have the holy power and such things, that's for sure. Ele enable priest mana bar. Uh, for shadow priest, for example, I like to have it. So when I'm playing shadow, you know, I see if I can use master spell or not. Of course, we want health bar. Uh, healing absorbs, yes, I don't use the outside limit, so you will just see something here on the right side. Incoming heals, uh, healing absorbs, totem bar, that I don't need. No empty bar, and I do not want the cast bar either. And we go to Witcher Chise, portrait, I do not use it. Um, health bar, in the background, uh, you can have similar but faded out uh, another power bar the background for it yes and no some like it some don't uh, combo points which we don't have so I don't use it anymore and the priest mana bar then we go to auras enable buffs if you want to see some buffs or not I like to have them uh, my auras other people's ones I don't want to see any other casted by boss. No, I don't. I don't want to see anything on my character, basically. Except my own RS, of course. I'm sorry. Um, this is going to be a long video, so I'm going to be mumbling a lot. I am sorry for that. Um, debuffs. Enable. <coughs> my auras, curable or removable auras, dispellable for example, uh, something casted by boss, yes, uh, any other, there are like food buffs and stuff like that, those are good, um, curable, yes, boss debuffs, positioning, anchor the buffs, so this is how what they look like, and the size of them is actually pretty good also. And we go to indicators, class icon, you can enable it, not, I don't like it, 
class role uh, you see small here I don't use that either um, combat status are you in combat or out of combat that I do like to see leader or assist that I don't need master looter I don't need PvP flag uh, it's okay not really that big of a deal mm, quest boss that's good to have if you are uh, looking over a lot of mobs for example so you know which one of them is the boss when you target it uh, raid roll uh, main tank healer what are this I don't need that either uh, raid target um, this means the you see the X or the moon for example that's really good uh, for ready check if you want that I don't need it either and resurrect status if you've been resurrected that I don't need also either way uh, I should have started on the general one I did not I'm sorry anyway enable portrait I don't want that um, you can have the combat fader that it fades out if you're not in combat or out of combat I don't I think it's useless and then we go to the text slash tags health bar I like to have it a little bit of course these are the names for example I like to have the name kind of big now uh, what you want to see on the left text I want to see the name on the right text I want to have current max health and percentage uh, then we go to the power bar uh, left side is by default it's power for, for mana for example uh, which is a good thing and on the right side we have current max power no we don't w need that we don't need, need the health percentage either what now it should be right left text is percentage power and right text nothing yes exactly Rune bar, you don't use that. Stagger bar, we don't use that either. Uh, also, an add on I forgot to mention is E align. When you write slash align, you get this across thingy. It makes placing stuff easier when you see the middles and stuff like that. Uh, there we go to the frames again. I want to have them a little bit bigger. And I want to have them a little bit wider. I'd say 220 and 60. Uh, I want the power bar to be a little bit like 0 0.5, so the health bar is long larger. And then we could take a good spot to where they put them. I see one, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. So two more to the right. And there you have them. Now we take the focus and we put it here on the right side where I would like to have it. And that's basically it. Now we have... I will show you how this looks like when I target myself and... It's set fo oh my god, bartender is blocking it. Ignore. But the focus frame will be exactly like the target frame. Uh, now we open Suf again. And we go to general and lock frames and this is what we get pet frame I like to have it like on top of my character uh, we will use it here no, no portraits nothing like that I don't want any buffs anything on it uh, buffs are disabled debuffs are disabled uh, I don't want to have anything but max health and um, the name so for example when I'm shadow it, sh it says shadow fiend on the left text there is a power bar we will empty this and the right text also and that's it now my pet frame is also ready uh, then we take target of target we want to have it bigger so we will do this 50 no not 50 let's do 40 and we go to 190 so we will have it here 
above the target frame. So for example, I usually in Rage and pa in Party I have target on boss. So when I have the target on target above the target, I know who is targeting in Rage for example. I know which target which tank is active. Uh, again, this doesn't the, the power bar is okay. Uh, nothing special about it. I don't like to have anything else on it. So check the auras that the buffs and debuffs are disabled. No class icon. Uh, the rate target thing is useful for if, if tanks have them. For example, left text this name, uh, right text this current HP, and then we have the percentage also. And po on power bar, we don't want anything on them. So now the target of target is also done. Then we go to focus target. Uh, this is for the same reason. For example, if I keep boss on focus I see which tank is active so basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make him just like the target of target so first of all we go to bars we check that there is no empty bar or cast bar enabled we go to widgets uh, power bar they're fine frame again 40 and let's do 160 put it above the focus frame Auras, everything disabled. Indicators, nothing here except for the rate, uh, rate target. Again, check the frames. If it's AFK, we don't need the AFK frame even. We can take that off. Okay, write text, current HP and percentage, power bar. We don't want anything here. So, uh, lock frames and a line, take this off. And this is what it looks like for now. Uh, as we see, the numbers are quite small here. So what we can do is we go to Uni uh, Global, and then we go to the text, and we will make the text bigger. I think around three is enough, and same thing for the left text oh excuse me that was power bar why do we have something oh we have the level that's not supposed to be there we're gonna take it off so we go to target texts uh, power bar left text and that's gonna go away and this is gonna go away and we only have the percentage again and that's it it's very easy to do of course what you can do is uh, you can always change the font if you want to uh, and, but that's that's not so you can you can do it if you want to but I don't really care about the font uh, but it's easy on um, by default they are on class color so it's really nice uh, what we're doing next is we're gonna go to general lock frames again unlock the frames I mean and then we're gonna check the boss frames my boss frames is here on the left side usually so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to frame I wanna make it a little bit bigger 50 by 180 uh, make sure no portraits or stuff like that is enabled um, check the bars health bar no empty bar no cast bar nothing like that needed you can take the alternate power bar off if you want to it's usable in some encounters but on most um, then again check these things uh, we're gonna make the health bar a little bit bigger it's 1.2 by default let's make it 2 yes and you see we can even make it a little bit bigger, 2.2 and that's it, the, the health frame is bigger than the power frame very easy to do then again, enable buffs and debuffs if you if you think the boss has some buffs or debuffs you want to track I just usually take these off so I don't have any useless information basically filling my screen screen, I use them for targeting and to see if there are ads up or something like that basically and then again we can check the um, the text on the bars that's name and current max HP with the percentage like I used before here is percentage power uh, percentage power and the right test is current max power 
Uh, very easy, very simple. And that's it for the frames. It took me, what, 5 to 10 minutes to do. And I got the frames just the way I like them. Then what we're going to do is we're going to write slash bt, which opens the bartender. And we're going to unlock everything. I have my keybinds set up already. Uh, keybinds are a personal thing, very easy to do. I will show them in the end of the video and also I will go through a click quickly uh, the mouse overs I'm using. But this is what we have here. The Blizzard art bar I will disable instantly. I don't need all the eagles and stuff like that in my frames. And then we're gonna take the bed bar off. Bar 1, bar 2. This is where I have all my abilities. And then we have the micro menu. This is I usually hide over here in the left bottom left corner, my back bar, I hide it also. Uh, then we're gonna take the micro menu, scale 0 0.8, make it smaller. We're gonna take the back bar, and we're gonna make that smaller also, 0 0.8, and we're just gonna place them here. Then we go to visibility. Uh, we're gonna go fade out, fade out alpha, is gonna be zero. Same thing with the micro menu. Fade out. I'm gonna show you what they look like. They're gonna go invisible and when I mouse over them I will see them. Easy to do and now they're out of the way basically. Then we're gonna unlock them again and get to work with the actual bars. So my main bars are 1 and 6. So we're gonna take 1, we can uh, we have 12 buttons and the padding makes them closer so we're gonna put that to 0 on both of them and we're gonna scale them smaller. Let's see what 0 0.6 does. That's a little bit too small. 0 0.7 maybe? No, actually 0 0.6 might be what we are looking for in here. Then we're gonna write slash align to get them just the way. No, 0 0.7 is what we're looking for. It's a little bit too small like this. And we're gonna place them here on the bottom of my screen. And again, this is what we see. A small, uh, not so visible, but uh, that's the way I want them. I rarely look anything from my uh, action bars so they're just there sitting over there doing nothing basically and they are actually not in the middle now they are gonna lock them on top of each other nice and easy um, then we're gonna look what, other, what the other ones I'm using have mm. We are going to lock them four, three, four, and five. So first of all, what we're going to do with five is we're going to make it um, horizontal. It's vertical now, and we want it horizontal, uh, like this. So this has my mount, for example. Again, this needs to be a lot smaller. Uh, not ten. This one I only use six buttons with. Number four is disabled. I don't use that for anything. Um. Excuse me, a little break on my thoughts. And number three, we are going to do a little bit different. We want two rows, so we want to do it like this. And five, you have six buttons now, all right? So we're gonna do like this. Yes, now you have six buttons. Makes me makes it easier to look. I'm gonna add something in here also. Why does it not let me do it? Well, whatever. Um, we're gonna scale this a lot smaller. 
0 0.6 even it it need it it can be very small i don't they are used for one purpose only and that's for clicking mounts and stuff like that so we're going to put it here and we're going to put the other one next to it this is missing something yes it's padding And they're gonna be here, nice and easy next to each other's. <coughs> and again, now we can lock the bars. And we can move these things around. Place them over here. Whatever we want to do with them. And again, then we write slash bt, we go to visibility, we want them to fade out. We don't need to see them all the time. And they're here again. I got mass rays and my heart stones and stuff like that. They're here. A little bit hidden. Again, out of sight. Like I've said in the earlier videos, I want things to be... I want. I don't want any unnecessary info to be seen. Uh, that's it about... Uh, of course... Uh, we can take the pet, pet bar. If I have it, I don't... Uh, Shadowfin doesn't have anything useful, basically, so I don't need that. And we have the extraction button. We're gonna put it here. Uh, we're gonna scale it a little bit bigger so I don't miss it. It's gonna be here. That's a nice place for it. And we're not gonna have it. It can it can be fade out a little bit or fade out, but it's usually better to see it all the time. We can make it like 80% alpha, so it's not like super bright, but you know it's there. And same thing with this zone zone ability. Actually, we can put it. We can leave it here. It's something that only happens in garrison for me nowadays, and I just take the ability and put it on my bars. But we can leave it here, for example. Now <coughs> that's done, so we can open sh uh, shadow union frames again, and unlock them, move them down a little bit. Because now that I know my action bars or see where they are, it's easier. I know where I normally have them also. So again, move these down a little bit. Slash align. I cannot type apparently. Oh, this is what it looks like at the moment. Very clean, very simple, very easy. Uh, next thing, I have some friends um, helping me out in the party so I can do my party frames. Uh, what we do here is we're gonna unlock it and we're going to interface rate profiles. I want it to auto activate whenever I join a group. Discipline, Holy Shadow, PvP, PvE. We sort them by group. Oh, actually, keep groups together. This is easier way to do it. Incoming hills, yes, I want to see them. Power bars, uh, I don't use them. Aggro highlight is good. If uh, someone else gets aggro than the tank, it, do you know that you need to heal him? I want to see class colors. I don't want to see pets. Main tank and main assist, no thank you. Uh, no border. Uh, debuffs, yes. Uh, I like to see health remaining. Now we go to the height. And we go to the width. Uh, they can be whatever you want or whatever you like. Uh, I usually keep them all around like this. Then this is what we're gonna do. So the groups are going to grow horizontally to the right. And we're gonna take them over here. No. Oh my god, I did not save it. That was a mistake, but it's easy to do. Doesn't take long. I know for me, it says frame here. I know the E is where I want the height. And the width is around another E. So, very easy to do. Uh, to get to, you know, get these markers for yourself. And now we have for rating purposes or um, party, you have the frames here on the right side. I forgot to say uh, for casting bars, I use quartz. Um, I'm gonna show them how they are normally. This is how I usually have them. And this is how I know where to place my... Because I want my um, frames over my cast bar. 
or I want my cast bar under my frames. So when I put them like this, I always know they're at the same place. But what we're gonna do here is we're going to open profiles and do another, a new profile to set them up. So now that we have the the frames locked here, it's easy for me to work with um, cast bars. So we're gonna have the player cast bar over here, where I have my. Uh, then we take the focus cast bar, which I don't use, and the target cast bar. So we go to focus. We go. We don't. We disable it. Then we go to player. This is very simple, very easy. I don't do anything to the player frame, uh, the player cast bar. This is exactly how I want it to be. Just put it down a little bit. What we need to do is we need to disable things like this. You can see the echo of light over here, for example. So channeling takes off, and that's it. And you want to have the disabled blizzard cast bar ticked, so you don't have the normal cast bar also. Next, we go to the player uh, target cast bar. I want to make it big, so we're gonna make it 450. Let's see if that's enough. No, it's not enough. Let's go uh, 550. Yeah, that's good. And then we go to the height, and that's gonna be 25. I have it here above my character. So it's easy to see, uh, and I don't miss it. I use it. I use it for so I see when bosses are casting stuff. So um, I don't miss it. I can precast for certain abilities and stuff like that. Uh, then we go to quartz again. There is this mirror. Uh, when there's something happening around, it, it makes more of those like you saw the echo of light earlier. I want to disable that. I disable buffs global cooldown, uh, swing timer, I want all these off. I don't want to see anything like this. I only want the cast bars. Nothing else. So you can just take them and you can simply just disable everything. And there you have it. Now we got our cast bars. We even disabled the focus cast bars so it's gonna disappear right now. Then uh, we are using weak auras. I already have a lot of weak auras here, as you can see. And I'm gonna show you how you can import, f uh, for example, a holy priest hood. We open up uh, Google Chrome, we go to wago.io. Uh, the one I'm using is made by Ablution. I'm gonna show you how you find it. You go to search, you write Ablution, and then you go wago. You see here, Holy Priest, Ablution, EU, Bronze, Down, from Light. You click that one, and it opens it up. Of course, there are Resto Shaman, Vertical Resto Druid, Holy Priest, the Vertical Holy Priest. So, what I'm using is the Vertical Holy Priest. We open this one. You see this one over here. You blacken all of it. Control C. And then we go New, Import, Control V. It takes some time to make it. We press import and then we place it where you want it to be. I have it here next to my frames. And then we go to load. You can have it load always like this as Holy Priest. And boom! Now we have target frame, player frame, frames. We have the Holy Priest weak aura hood setup. We got our. Um, cast bars we have basically everything we need now I'm gonna reload UI to get rid of all this stuff that might be bugged while we were uh, recording this and then the last thing we're gonna do I'm gonna set up DBM deadly boss mods uh, you can go of course you go to options you go to bar setup. So first of all, we're gonna. Why don't you show it to me? Because they're here. 
I want them um, to be here in the middle and then we will see where they will go by default they go over here now I want to have them underneath my cast bar okay so then we go to bar setup first of all uh, exp expand upward if you want them to grow upwards you can click this one I want them to grow uh, downwards so what we see here is bar height it's 20 we're gonna make them big again small bar options excuse me so here this is the small bar we're gonna have it like this that's okay and um, then the huge bar the bigger one that we want to be big and again move me you can this is the harder way to do it we can just open quartz also and toggle bar lock so we always see it now you have the DBM timers where I or I have them where I want them to be this is when they're uh, like above 10 seconds and when they go below 10 seconds they come here next to my cast frame and my frame so I have all the information stacked here on the right side this is very easy to do that's all you need to do basically for that one uh, then again you sh type slash line you look if everything's the way you want it to be and then you can just slash line again for me it hurts my eyes you can of course have it all on all the time and then you open click and this is where I have all my mouse over macros of course I have the click setup video in the channel also uh, if you want to know more about it that's uh, what you should look uh, but uh, this is where I have everything so now that I want to cast something and just flash heal on myself one is serenity E is prayer of mending shift E is heal um, renew excuse me Q uh, G, G Q is heal <laughs> and so on um, my words are going crazy at the moment but this is it this is how you build a UI now it's we're all set and done and ready to go basically uh, I wanna thank you again for watching I hope this helps you uh, to build a UI of your own I hope you get some ideas uh, every idea every question everything's welcome and I'm always looking I always try to improve my UI I there doesn't go a week doesn't go by when I don't change something a little bit switch something around make small adjustments but this is basically what I'm playing with I hope you enjoyed and I really hope you find some help from this video thank you very much and have an awesome day see you next time goodbye